This is Sims, and we are back with more Birushana. Continuing Benkei's route. Surprise, I know. Anyway, so, yeah. We spent a lot of time being tormented by Tomomori. Tormented, I say that, but like, hi, sexy son of a bitch. Even though he said some questionable things that I'm still mad about. But I'll forgive him, because, you know, all he has to do is look at me. But anyway, uh, yeah, and now Benkei and our man Harem... Well, most of it, you know, uh, are on their way to rescue us. Got a good little band of merry man harems. And yeah, so. Kyoto, Rokuhara. The news that Yoshinaka's troops were planning to invade Kyoto threw the capital into chaos. In the face of the situation, Munamori, Norimori, and others decided to lead the clan out of Kyoto and move to Fukuhara. Munamori. Okay. I can't believe this. No, I don't want to believe it. I never thought this would happen. Oh. Her voice is off, but whatever. Tokuko, please hurry with your preparations. The Genji will be attacking soon. I, I cannot accept this. I can't be with my father on his deathbed. I'm being forced to flee Kyoto. Attic bitch. <laughs> we have Emperor Antoku. As long as the sacred treasures and the Emperor are safe, there is a way forward. If we head west and regroup, we should be able to retake Kyoto. Please, just be patient for now. All right. As long as my child, Emperor Antoku, is safe, we can work to find a way forward. Somebody take her baby and punt it. Just, or just take it away. Be rude. Hmm. Fleeing the capital is so boring. If Yoshinaka is going to attack us... Why don't we just go intercept him? I don't think that's possible. With the current numbers of the Heike army, we'll just be overrun one way or another. But with you and I on the battlefield, we can at least give them a run for their money, can't we? And if we lose, that's okay too. I'm sure it'd be beautiful to see the city covered in blood and fire. Yeah, Shigehiro's got some serious fucking problems. If Tomomori's got some problems, Shigehiro's got like a million more. Jesus. Don't you think so, brother? Not really. I don't think it'd be any fun to fight Yoshinaka. I, for one, am just going to let things go. The Heike are coming to their natural end. Uh, but then there's Spacey. It's going to be fun traveling west with her. I'm sure we won't be bored. Wow, that sounds so just god awfully inappropriate. I love you, Tomomori, but Jesus. Cool-headed as always, brother. But yes, I agree. As long as we have her, we won't be bored. Just nice of my possible half-brothers to share me like this. That is so inappropriate. Here for it, though. Bird, that's my headset. Please stop attacking. Mm-hmm. Right. We'll run and run and run as fast as our legs can take us. And when all is said and done, we'll rot together and turn to dust. Yeah, you're a little strange. At least with her, our last days are sure to be pleasurable. <sighs> so many things! I guess you keep going. Damn it! I can't dig any further without real tools. There were no windows on the walls of the cell, and the hard bars on the door didn't budge, no matter how many times I tried. Gotta get back to the others soon. I wondered how many days have passed since I was taken there. There was no sun or moonlight, no way to measure time. I've surely been here for a very long time. <laughs> it's been two hours! <sighs> it's not gonna have been as long as we think. And yet, I still hadn't taken a single step toward escape, and I was getting impatient. Let's go over every inch of it again. Maybe I missed something. A hole in the wall, or... As I looked around the small cell, I heard a faint noise in the distance. What was that? There seemed to be a lot of activity coming from above. Just, what's going on up there? I could feel an unpleasant tension in the air. Then I heard the sound of those footsteps I'd grown far too familiar with. Hey, brothers. <laughs> Bird, stop. 
You're trying to escape again, aren't you? Like I told you before, it's utterly futile. Tomomori! How are you, my love? I'm better now that you're here, honestly. But, you know, I'm not supposed to like you in this route, but... Not great, obviously! What are you doing here? Tomomori's flirtatious smile made me feel cautious. I, was, I kind of feel like she should have said nauseous, but, you know, cautious, sure. So I had my guard up. For the past few days, Tomomori had come to gaze at my face from outside the prison cell. That's awkward! And kind of uncomfortable. I'm here for it, but it's still slightly... Could you imagine? You're like, this is slightly awkward. But ever since that first day he came into the prison cell, my body would immediately tense up at the sight of him. Tomomori hurriedly walked up and grabbed my arm. L let go of me! Mm-hmm. And now, be a good little girl. You want to get out of here, don't you? And then I say, let's get you out. What? <laughs> yeah, you're like, huh? Yoshinaka will be attacking soon. We must leave Kyoto before then. You are to come with us. What? The Heike are being driven out, are being driven out of Kyoto? Yes. We'll be heading to Fukuhara, and then further west, I suppose. You've never seen the Western Sea, have you? You should look forward to it. I hear there are many scenic places. Though it sounds like we're going on a nice romantic journey. I think you've got this wrong. I couldn't believe the joy that was on his face when he spoke. What is he talking about? He's talking about it like we're going on a romantic getaway, not fleeing for our lives, right? Because he's crazy. I love it. It's amazing. Just like when he said his father, Kiyomori, was dying. Does Tomomori really have no compassion for his family at all? I'm not sure he has much of a soul, but goddamn, he's beautiful, so... The Genji will pursue us wherever we go, but I'm sure we won't be bored as long as you're with us. I'm sure we'll have fun in exile. I mean, you gotta hand it to him, though. It's like, he's not like, What? No! We're gonna go into exile in the sex! He's like, eh, whatevs. And he's taking it in stride, so... I'm not sure if that's a plus for him or it just makes him crazier. Eh. When you've fallen so far, it's not a bad idea to just accept our fate together. What color will the sea be at the time of our downfall? I'm getting so excited just thinking about it. Yeah, he's got some problems. Right, Spacey? I mean, whatever you say, sweetie, I love you. No, no. It's not that he has no love for his family. He doesn't even care about his own fate. He's just rich and bored. Which leads to all sorts of dead hooker problems. I'm just saying. Okay. Tomomori's expression never faltered. It was the same graceful smile as when, he, as when we had first met. The strangeness of it gives me chills. Hi, tiny bird! He's downstairs chirping. Because Neelix is with me. What? What are you saying? And when we reach the Western Sea, I will take you as my wife. Okay. She's not gonna like that. I'm here for it, but... Oh, don't look so surprised, my love. We've been talking about this for a while, after all. Y you have. I've always wanted to make you mine. Thank God you haven't tried anything. Yet. No, oh, never! Who would ever want to be your wife? Oh, I mean, hi, girl, shut your mouth. I got my hand up over here. I got both of them. Hey, two hands high in the air. Hello, over here. It doesn't matter what you say. It's already been decided. The look on his face now, like, oh, the sweet, innocent look on his face while he's saying such shady shit. I love it. You will be my wife, and when you are, I will not lock you up like this. I promise to let you be free. Because, yeah, I mean, at that point, you'll be so broken down and beaten down that, you know, you'll just accept your fate. It's kind of traumatizing. But also, you don't have to lock me up, Tomomori. I'm here for this, so... I want to be nice to my wife, you know. I feel sorry for her, squeezing her into such a small space like this. What are you talking about? The fact that... I mean, I kind of absolutely love this because she's like, yet yeah, no, 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 no. Which makes all the shit he's saying, like, creepy and crazy and, like, yeah. 
I mean, a normal man saying like, oh, hey, well, of course, I'm sorry if a normal man was like, I won't lock you up. Um, the fact that you even brought that up in conversation is a little fucking odd, but, you know. Be like, you'll be my wife and we'll go on nice vacations and I'll treat you wonderfully. I mean, okay. But the fact that you have to tell me that because I'm in a cage right now, that's the questionable part. <laughs> Stop it! Let go of me! You really never learn, do you? I'm telling you, your resistance is like a kitten trying to claw its way out. Yeah, and the more we resist, the more he enjoys it, so... Not really sure what the right answer here is. Wait! You said I was Kiyomori's child! That I'm your sister! I can't be your wife! That's not gonna stop you in your own brother route. Oh, you know what? That makes me think that our brother's not really our brother. But then if our brother's not really our brother, then Tomomori's really our brother, so... Again, I like I said in the last part, I just have a feeling that we're gonna go down our brother's route and be like, oh, he's not really your brother, and you're gonna be like, so Tomomori is? And then you're gonna go down Tomomori's route, and it's gonna be like, no, we're not gonna bring up the whole you might be my sister thing again, so that you're actually wondering the whole time, which one of our brother, which one of them is our brother? I don't know if it matters, because at this but by the end of the game, it's like, we had sex with our brother. I don't know which one of them it was, but shit. You know what I'm just saying? Like, the game's gonna fuck with your mind like this, and I'm here for it. That's fucking brilliant. Don't tell me. Make me think it's okay. But in each round, I'm questioning, wait, wait, wait. Which one of them is actually my brother? Shit, and you're just never gonna know. You're never gonna know, and all you're gonna know is you went down a route, and you fucked your brother. And you thought at the time, oh, I'm sure he's not my bro. That's cool. But he might have been. And you don't know. But you fucking enjoyed it. <laughs> they had maniacal laughs while twirling their mustaches, evilly doing this because it's brilliant. And I'm here for it. I approve. It's great. It's like mental torture. You're like, wait. Oh, no. <sighs> And you can convince yourself, well, no, I really love Tomomori, but he wasn't my brother. And then you're going to be like, but was he? Oh. I'm going to keep you up all night. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway. I didn't want to say this to him. In my heart, I still believed I'm a Genji. But what other choice did I have? I thought this would stop his advances, but I was wrong. <laughs> I mean, girl. All the way up to this point, you're like, whoa, whoa, wait, if I'm your sister, I mean, he's he's been thinking of that for a while, and it hasn't stopped him, so I don't know where you thought this was going to go. I'm glad she said it. Hmm. <laughs> what? What's so funny? No, I'm sorry. It's just you're adorable when you're so concerned with such trivial things. You really are like a child, aren't you? Trivial things? We share genetic DNA, possibly. Like, Trivial? Right? You're like, um, excuse me? Of course. A sister or not, I don't care. I just... T for time out. Excuse me, Tomomori. Okay, I just want to point that out, but also, I can't really judge you for that, because you, or... What's his face? Why can I never remember bro actual brother's name? Whatever. Uh, you... One of you might actually is probably related to us. Again, don't know which one. Still here to bang both of you. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So I can't really judge you on this. <laughs> you will love me as your brother and as your husband. Okay, that's a little fucked up. Weird. You can give all your love to me. Makes it more disturbing. <laughs> I felt my blood freeze with horror. Underneath his beautiful smile, the madness he carried was so terrifying that it made my body tremble. He's crazy. He's completely insane. I can't reason with him. I know that's part of actually why I like him so much. He is crazy and completely insane and might actually be our brother and it's totally like, cool. All the more reason for you to love me. Weird. <sighs> I should be so bothered by this and have slight heebie-jeebies, but I don't. I'm like, wow, I'm actually enjoying this. I have problems. My back was pressed against the cell wall as Tomomori leaned in closer, cornering me. And look at his beautiful eyes batting out of sweet sweetly. <laughs> I love this game. It makes me question all my life choices. Get, get away from me! It's useless to resist, you know. 
He aggressively pinned down my flailing arms. I was unable to escape his grasp. Now is not the time, Tomomori. Don't do it. A sense of hopelessness consumed my heart. I felt like I was about to burst into tears. Oh, here it is. That face. That beautiful face. He is blushing. He is so fucking enamored with our almost crying, but he is really completely fucked up. And I just, I keep trying to tell myself this to try to like almost convince myself like, he is totally fucked up. He is literally like, the he's the trash in this game. But I'm like, I can fix it. It's fine. <laughs> I don't even care. I can't fix it. I don't even care. I'm just going to roll around in this trash pile. I'm here for it. I love him so much. What? What are you doing? He slammed me down hard on the floor, knocking the wind out of me as I fell. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ben K, we need you to bust in now. This could be bad. Tomomori, don't. Please don't. Go of me. What the hell are you doing? Can you blame me? You look so good when I've got you trapped here with nowhere to go. Oh, I love that I can make you look that way. I want to see more and more. And, you know, normally it would be so, like, charming and adorable that he's blushing, but you're getting a little rapey, buddy, so... Questioning all my life choices again. <laughs> he pinned down my wrists hard, leading his full weight down on them. I was unable to move. Tomomori smiles at me as he places his face directly in front of mine, so close I could feel his hot breath on top of me. I don't think I can wait any longer. I can't make it till we reach the Western Sea. I'll take you as my wife now. Oh. And we have to, like, sign paperwork and stuff? Blood tests? <laughs> like, no! G get away from me! Don't touch me! I'll never be your wife! Never! Um... Tomomori wrapped his arms around my waist. I couldn't move. I couldn't even flinch. His large, heavy body held me down. Fear like I'd never felt before surged in my chest, making me want to scream. Oh, don't! Oh, not like this. Not in this place. Not with him. I couldn't stop my mind from racing. My body from shaking. My vision blurring in and out of focus. I didn't want to cry, but my mind and body wouldn't listen to me. Oh, yes. There it is. That's the face I wanted to see. Tomomori laughed heartily as he looked into my face, licking the tears as they fell from the corners of my eyes. Look, this is a wildly inappropriate situation, but... Damn, if I'm not enjoying it. I kind of want to hate myself for it, but yet I don't. I don't know. Hm. Oh, your face looks so beautiful when you're crying. Yeah, he is literally so fucked up. Look good with a crying face? Yeah, he's fucked. <laughs> no, that's not right. That's not what he said. There we go. What can I say, Lord Chanel? A smile suits you. I love your smile. It's like a light that... Well... It's a smile worthy of your name. Okay. Okay. Ben K. His voice and his smile came rushing back to me and made my heart tremble. It was as though a warm light had been lit inside my nearly frozen heart. Oh, I'm not resisting anymore. Have you finally given up? No. I think you like the fight. That's fine, too. Yes, be a good girl wrapped up in my arms. She's gonna kick you right in the nuts, buddy. I'm just saying. He smiled contentedly as he hugged me. Gently hugged me. Wow, I can't read. Then he began to loosen my kimono. Girl. You're gonna have to kick him in the nuts. <laughs> You don't have to look so anxious. Oh, be gentle. I promise you won't feel any sadness or pain. I'm pretty sure the sadness is just already there, sweet cheeks. I mean, he tore open the collar and Tomomori buried his face in my exposed neck. 
I felt his cold lips crawling across my skin. Now! I held Tomomori's head down and placed my mouth on his neck. Oh-ho! <sighs> Turnabout is fair play. We're gonna suck his soul. I focused on the point where my lips met his neck and concentrated hard. Just like Shigehira said, he said he, he could consume spirit just by touching a person. The worst part would be is if it doesn't work and Tomomori's like, what are you doing? Nothing, and he's like, are you are you getting into this? And she's like, no, I was trying to kill you. And he's like, oh, yeah, no, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> like, oh, how awkward. Oh, how awkward. And then I had the power, too. <laughs> are you... Are you... I held Tomomori down and began to gulp down his spirit with my pursed lips. I mean, I'm also here for this. We're kind of taking charge, and we're... I mean, we're... I don't even want to say sucking his spirit out, because that sounds really, really fucking dirty. Okay? I mean, literally, that's what we're doing, but it also sounds like a euphemism and wildly inappropriate. Okay. <laughs> felt his warm spirit come to me. Suddenly, the strength left Tomomori's arms, and I pushed his body away with all my might. This would be the perfect time to actually kill him, but I know she couldn't do it, and I also kind of don't want her to, because, like, I love Tomomori. Look, he's being wildly inappropriate here, but I'm I'm down with it, so. Get away from me! Yeah, I mean, I kind of like that we turn tables on him, huh? No, my sword. I will never be your wife. I don't belong to you. I don't belong to anybody. Now get out of my way! <laughs> Time to get out of here. I... Love. That we did this. I love Tomomori, but I mean, he kind of deserved it, and it's hot. Whole fucking thing. I'm just so fucking here for this. I love our count and mass game that we're going to be playing throughout all the routes, Tomomori. It's just going to make when we get together so much sweeter whether you're my brother or not here for it <laughs> i have problems <laughs> let my guard down she drank a lot but there's no denying it now she used that power to escape from me you can't go back now you know what you are we will meet again spacey i'm so glad he didn't call me sister Thank God. That would have been funny in that situation. Sister. I mean, I kind of feel like... I I don't really know how we would have gotten this power if we're not related to him in some way. We could be cousins. You know what I mean? Like, maybe because Grandma, Kiyomori's mother, was the one that was like... Wasn't she the one that was like, no, no, don't kill the kids. And talked him out of it. We kept saying, like, in this route, we've been saying, like, oh, our mother convinced him not to kill us or whatever, right? But didn't they say in the common route, or at least it was in uh, Noritsune's route, that it was, like, Yomori's mother I was like, no, no, don't kill the kids. So, like, sh oh, my God. That would be so much better. She had a bastard child that was actually... What's his name? <laughs> Can't. Uh... Which one's our brother? Anyway, so like, who we think is our dad. So then our dad and our so that you know our us and our brother are actually half siblings, but then we're cousins. That would be so freaking amazing. That would be great! Oh my god, then we would have had sex with our half-brother and two of our cousins in this whole game. <laughs> Can Shunkin be our twin brother that we didn't know we had? Because I'm just saying, it's just got to get really fucking wacky. When we get... <laughs> I'm sorry, I kind of want that to be the case. So you're like, wait, so Noritsune is our cousin, and Tomomori is our cousin, and our brother is actually our half-brother, and so we're all... And we just, three out of the five routes, 
we were bone and family member. Yes. Okay. I'm I, I don't know why that would just be so fucking funny. Oh, so inappropriate. But you know, hey, <laughs> either way, we are at least having sex with our brother in one round, whoever he might be. I don't know. One of them's our half brother. And I, I don't think the game's going to tell us. So, you know, might as well just go pull out balls to the walls. Let's do this. Just have sex with every member of our family. Jesus goddamn Christ. Jesus. I jumped out of my cell and ran through the estate. Minimize your luggage! Get in the carriage as quickly as possible! Never in my life did I think the Heike would be driven from the capital! <laughs> Hurry, Yoshinoka's armor is already entering the town! The mansion was shrouded in darkness of night, and no one saw me as I rushed out amid the chaos. Taking advantage of the darkness, I ran outside, through the streets of Rokuhara, and into the city of Kyoto. Tomomori and Shigehiro may still come after me. I have to get as far away from them as possible. I don't know, I think you sucked the life out of Tomomori more than you thought, so... Shigehiro, though. Yeah. I continued to frantically run through the town, with no idea where I was going. Ugh. Can't get rid of the feeling of his touch. The sensation of being held down coldness of his lips, the smell of his breath lingered on my skin and in my mind. And of course she's like repulsed by it, which is you should be in this situation, but like it's also Tomomori. So it's like, I don't want to be repulsed by it, but you know, you get the, I mean, you get the feeling that, you know, like, yeah, how dare he? Secretly enjoyed it. Me did, not her though, so I get it. And yet, despite such discomfort, my body felt oddly light. I don't feel tired after running this far. Like I was never captured at all. Because you sucked the life out of him. Or maybe it's because I drank his spirit. For the first time I drank someone's spirit, I never thought I'd be capable of doing that to someone. Uh, I'm pretty sure in a rape or escape situation, it sounds cuter because it rhymes than it actually is, because that's disturbing, but like, okay. But seriously, in a rape or escape situation, I'm pretty fucking sure sucking someone's life spirit out, if you have the power to do so, does not make you a bad person, okay? Because I know she's going to be like, oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Oh, let's not, let's not have this moral gray area where you think you're a horrible person for doing this. It's like, literally, like, what were your options? Let it happen and just accept, no! Suck his life spirit, knock him over and get the fuck out! I'm just saying, it was totally justifiable, Okay? There's a lot of situations where it'd be justifiable, but you know she would be this, I can't do it, I know we could win the battle, but we won't do it. Like, use your fucking demon powers, bitch, come on. Satan gave it to you for a reason, because I don't think it was God, okay? I'm just saying. You have these powers for, use them. You can use them for good, even if you have to do bad things, like suck the life spirit out of an evil son of a bitch, okay? Um, you know. But she wouldn't, because she's too good, okay? So I need you to get in the gray area, girl, alright? That's all I'm saying. But in this case, absolutely justified. No one in their right mind, even in a court of law, would be like, oh, no, horrible. It'd be like, yeah, I mean, all right. Okay, that's not true. Men would be like, how dare you kick him in the balls? What about his swimming career? Oh, oh. Well, you know what? Maybe don't touch people inappropriately, douche holes. Jesus, but, you know. So, okay, it, smart people, intelligent people who aren't douche canoes would be like, yeah, no, totally justifiable in this situation. I'm just saying. So... Let's not feel guilty about it. Let's not go down that path. Be like, huh, normally I wouldn't do that, but like, totally justified. High five for that. Anyway, filled with power. This horrible power to feed on the spirit of others and make it my own. I mean, it is a horrible power. Don't abuse it, like, maybe half-brothers. But again, don't feel guilty this time. I can't believe it. Shigehiro was right. I really am just like them. I'm a monster. Ah! No, 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 no. I don't want this power. I don't want the power to consume the life of others. I mean, it's kind of, you know, bad. I guess. Somebody please help me. Let me go back. Let me be normal. Someone, anyone. And this is where Ben K shows up. The darkness of the night, I let out a primal scream. It felt like my heart was about to be split in two. My legs had lost all their strength, and my lungs lost all will to breathe. 
Suddenly, a hand reached out to mine from the darkness. Benkei. You know it was going to be this moment where we... We, like... I, you needed him to bust in and rescue you. But at the same time, I really love the fact that she used this power. You know, I didn't really want to, but it was the choice that she had to make. Right? Got the fuck out of there. And now it's like... Now when you actually need him the most... You needed him very much in that other situation. But now you need him even more. And there he is. Beautiful. Okay. You know... He would have come rescue a, us... He would have gotten there. Maybe not in time if we hadn't done this. I'm just saying, but close. My lord. My lord, y you're safe. Why are you here? Are you hurt? Are you all right? Okay. Oh, thank heavens. I, I don't believe it. There he was. The person I wanted to see more than anyone else in the whole world. His warm smile. Gentle hands. Nothing like Tomomori. I mean, you know, why we gotta dash Tomomori so much? Oh my god, I just got no like non-stop fucking spam fucking text today. It's goddamn irritating shit. Anyway. It's really him? It's really Benkei? I was able to make it back. My lord, stay with me! My lord! Held up by his strength alone, Benkei's voice faded into the darkness. In his warm embrace, I surrendered myself to deep relief. Yet, what should I do? Who knew? Did you stay by my side? You knew what I really was? Did you still take my hand? You could see the real me. Uh, he kind of did when you stabbed him that time. I'm just saying. He didn't know about the soul-sucking power, but I'm just saying. He's kind of seen you at your worst. Before I could find out, my consciousness filled with darkness. Chapter 10. I was like, it's just a perfect place for the segue. You know what I mean? Only two more chapters. Get close. I know, it's really pouring out there, buddy. And the rain, rain, rain's coming down, down, down. It's gonna wash right over, Peaklet. I don't know why that song always pops into my head when it's raining. Sorry, I'm petting the bird. Do you have any idea what you look like back at Fuji River? Instantly moving from place to place, jumping higher than a person's head, leaving people twice your size with ease. You were doing the impossible. Impossible for a human, that is. Just a monster. And when we reach the Western Sea, I will take you as my wife. You will love me as your brother and as your husband. You can give all your love to me. Somehow not a line I ever thought June Fukuyama would ever say to you. In a game. In an anime. Ever. Eh. I'm not necessarily... I think that's actually a line I don't think I really expected anyone to ever say to me. But here we are. No. No, stop. Oh, your face looks so beautiful when you're crying. You are a sick, twisted fuck, but I love it. Let me go. Somebody, please, help! And Kate! My lord! Oh, good, sir. You're awake. Okay. Oh, hey! I forgot your voice because I didn't think we'd ever need it again! Whatever. It's the same standard voice. Anyway. Don't worry, you're safe here. You're back at Kurama Temple. Lord Kakunichi... Last night a friend cake, frantic Benkei forced his way in here with you in his arms. Oh, that's true, we were in Kyoto, so this makes sense. I forgot about that for a second. You were unconscious and looked exhausted. I brought you here to rest in a calm, familiar place. I... You see... It's been a long time, Shinhao. When I heard that you had fallen into the hands of the Heike. Well, you've clearly been through a lot. 
I'm just grateful you're still with us. And I'm glad to see you here again. Lord Kakunichi... I'm... I'm... I'm so sorry! I wasn't able to protect you from the Heike. I swore to be there for you and I wasn't. Now, I don't know how I can ever make it up to you. So sorry. Uh, promise you won't hate me when I say I can suck people's souls out. What? <laughs> and Kate, there's no reason for you to be sorry. It's my fault. I ran off when you told me to stop. But... It's okay, really. Just seeing you like this again, I... My lord? I... I can't even look at him. Every time I try, everything that happened with Tomomori and Shikahira comes rushing back to me. At any rate, I better explain everything that's happened since you were captured. Yoshinaka's army has invaded Kyoto and Benkei and the others were with them. Yes, when we learned that you had been captured by the Heike, we joined Yoshinaka's army. Your brother's a dick, by the way. Yeah, maybe you should- <laughs> Which one? <laughs> like, <laughs> Actually, come to think of it, even if Benke was like, your brother's kind of a dick, wasn't going to help us, you're like, yeah, I mean, that one's kind of a dick, the other one's kind of a rapey bastard, I mean, either way you look at it, kind of, my brothers both kind of suck, <laughs> but yet, still the hottest two in the game. Noritsune really is a motherfucking gem when you get down to it, because you're like, listen to these two motherfuckers, but yet. I'm here for them. I love them to pieces, even though they both kind of suck. I do love Benkei, though. Look. I'm never going to love you like that, Benkei. It's just... It's just not the way it works. I, I fall in love at first eyeball sight, generally. Okay, that's that's usually what happens. Although Noritsune is a surprising coming out of left field there, because, you know, that doesn't usually happen. It's been happening more often lately in games, huh? Parasite. Frickin' Raul just coming out of fucking nowhere like that. Like, what the fuck? Why am I in love with the himbo? That's a first! Noritsune coming out of left fucking field being like, I don't know, A plus fucking route. Best fucking route ever in existence. I... I don't know. You know, I'm just saying. But Tomomori's route could be complete a complete and utter dumpster fire. And I might be like, damn it, game, why is it a dumpster fire? But I'm still gonna love him, because, like... I first eyeball love and just happens to be best fucking VA ever just gets my motor running okay so I'm just saying it was always he was always gonna win but <sighs> but he really has to possibly be my half brother that's an asshole and then my second eyeball favorite character is our actual brother who might not be our brother but is also an asshole I mean I don't know we haven't gotten to his route yet but he seems kind of like a cold dap bastard huh doesn't he anyway <sighs> we intended to take advantage of the army's attack on Kyoto to help you, my lord. Well, that... for me? Yes, but in the end, it was too late, and you escaped on your own. I couldn't help you at all. Please forgive me. You tried, and you totally would have kicked Tomomori's ass if you'd seen what he was doing. I have nothing to apologize for. I was just relieved to see you last night. Thank you, Benkei. My lord. I mean, seriously, even though you were like, oh, you already escaped and I didn't get to save you. It's like, yeah, but you were coming to save me. That's, that's all that matters. Like, oh, you tried so hard. I love you. My little man harem, my traveling, roving man harem. You're such a good boy. This game is really filled with really great characters. I'm just saying. <laughs> Somebody build an extra wig on the man harem. Every game we play, we need an extra wing, okay? I'm just saying. There's never just one in a game. Is there? Has there ever been a game where you're just like, I mean, only one of the love or none of them appeal to you? I just, I don't think that's ever happened. Or I've forgotten about it, so good for me, I guess. Anyway. Hmm. Well, that's Kakunichi, right? I was, for some reason, my brain just froze completely, and I was like, what am I doing? I was trying to think of games in the back of my mind, but that was coming to the front of my mind. Actually, Cafe Enchanté might be the one. Because, like, I love Miser, but, like, the game was kind of a disappointment. Of like, and I think Miser was the only person I actually really loved. 
Like the rest of them, you're like, I mean, I like the characters, but like, <sighs> then he, uh, but he wasn't really a love interest, was he? Anyway, anyway, then Kay, it's obvious to everyone the strength of your devotion. Regardless of the outcome, Chanel managed to escape. And that's the most important thing of all. Agonichi's got it. Shungen and the rest of your retainers are in the Yoshinaka army too. I think it'd be best to let them know you're safe. Yes, everyone's worried about you, my lord. I'll be sure to let them know. Uh, right. Please. I, in all my days, never thought the Heike would be ejected from the capital and forced to flee west. There is no one in the city who'll pursue you, yet the city is still restless. But for the time being, I think it is best to take refuge here on Mount Kurama and rest. Yes. I should tell you, the nobles associated with the Heike family have also left the capital in fear of Yoshinaka's army. I hear that your mother, Lady Tokiwa, also left Kyoto with Lord Ichijo and others. Mother. See. My mother. My heart was heavy as I remembered the conversation in the prison cell. Is it really possible my mother was with Kiyomori before, uh, before Yoshitomo died? Do I really have hate in my veins? I don't want to doubt you, mother. But I can't deny I have the same powers as Tomomori and the others. But don't look so glum. As long as you both live, you'll be able to see each other again one day. Like, yeah, and ask her, Who the fuck is my dad, bitch? Who's my daddy? Do I want to know? Maybe not. Lord Kakunichi, unaware of my troubles, seemed to have thought my concern was about seeing my mother. I couldn't say anything back. But what's wrong? I've never seen you this way before. Lord Kakunichi, just who the hell am I? What? What do you mean? You look nervous, buddy. My lord. They stared at me at a loss for words. How could I explain this to them? How could I even ask them? How could I say such a terrible thing about my mother? Um, you just gotta say it. Besides, I don't even know if they'll believe me. That I'm not human. That I can drink a human spirit. <laughs> Here's the funny thing. What? That's bullshit. Come here, I'll show you. <laughs> you seem troubled by something. If you cannot find the words, don't force yourself to say them. You need to rest now. Uh, Benke, I think it's best you come with me too. No! I promise to stay by you, my lord. Okay, I'm fine. I just need to be left alone for now. My lord, I understand. Um, but I'll be nearby. Please call me if you need anything. I need you to hold me, Ben. Got it. You gotta be honest, when you're sick or scared or tired or depressed or sad or anything, Ben K would actually be a really great person to hold you because he's like ginormous. So it'd just be so easy to just curl up in this big bear mountain of a man, right? I'm just saying. So, like, I points for that, I guess. And Kate, I know I'm worrying you. What am I supposed to do? I just don't know. It's okay. Ben Kay will love you anyway. She said she wanted some time by herself, but something about her seemed off. Something happened to her. A lot, actually, and it's not just that, you know, inappropriate actions of my possible half-brother. Uh, it was also just the shit he said. And the possibility that he's my half-brother. It all snowballed, didn't it? The man who captured her. Did he do something to her? Just the thought of it's enough to make my blood boil. Lord, can I come in? My lord? She's not here. My lord! Why did we go? Where could she have gone at this hour? I knew I shouldn't have left her alone! My heart's pounding. I have to find her quickly! I kind of figured we were curled up in a corner crying, because that's kind of what I would do. Instead, she's like, I'm going to go out there and kick some ass. I don't know. Taking a walk by a river. 
cold, clear water. This will do it. Colder the better. See if I go just a little further in. Or... 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 We're trying to, like, cleanse ourselves or drown ourselves. I feel like she's trying to cleanse herself or some shit. The kimono clung to my skin. The icy water seeping its way deep into me. Invisible weight clings onto me. In order to escape it, I continued deeper and deeper into the water. But it's still not enough. I need to go deeper. I need the water to cover me, surround me until I can't feel anything. Then maybe... Oh, Benkei's coming right up to rip us out of this motherfucking drown scenario. I walked further into the river. The water reached my knees, and my waist, and my chest. My lord! Hmm? Suddenly, he grabbed my arm from behind. I turned around to see Benge there, completely out of breath. He was pale and staring at me with a terrified expression. This is where you confess your love to me, but it's not going to happen. You know it's not. Benge, why are you here? I should ask you the same thing. What are you doing here? Why are you in the river like this? His face pale, Benke pulled me closer. His grip on my arm was strong, as if he was afraid to let me go. <sighs> Multiple reasons for that, but all valid. I looked away from him and muttered, I'm just here to cleanse myself. Cleanse yourself? What do you mean? It's the middle of the night. Just, I have to. So please, Benke. Just let me go. No. No matter what you say, I'll not let you go. You're not thinking clearly, my lord. The sensation of being touched by Tomomori won't leave me. The voice and hands of that man, that fear, they had burrowed their way down and wormed their way into my soul. That feeling of having my spirit consumed. I hate it. I hate this feeling. I feel like I'm not myself anymore. I can't take it. I wondered if the sensation would disappear if I gave myself to the stinging cold water. Yet it remained. The filth that clung to my body seemed to be trying to turn me into something I was not. I feel like I kind of like the way they did this because, like, Tom and Mori only got handsy with us. Didn't actually do anything. But her reaction is not like, oh, okay, well, anyway, it's like, no, it's the, like, I feel disgusting and dirty and filthy, and I basically need to freeze my skin off to get it off. Like, I feel like it's an adequate response. You know what I mean? You know, granted, they don't have the time in this game to go through the whole full fucking cycle of what that would feel like, and the, like, the recovery. It's gonna, she's gonna all of, it's gonna be like, oh, Benke's there, and now I'm okay with it. Because it's it's a game, but usually they kind of just gloss over stuff. It's like, oh, what, how dare you? And then two seconds later, your love interest is there, and you're like, oh, no big deal. You forget about it. You know what I mean? They don't usually kind of gloss over it, I feel like, sometimes. You know? And then other times you have instances like this where, like, there's a reaction, and it feels like you're like, yeah, no, I feel like that's an appropriate reaction. I've never been in that situation, so I don't 100% know. But I feel like it feels like, yeah. I could say that feels like it would be a genuine reaction. Not, oh, okay, well, no big deal. You know? And then, again, like I said, they're not, they don't have the time to fully delve into how long it would take her to actually come to terms with this and heal from it. Because it's an Atome game and we're at the end. But still, at least they didn't, like, totally gloss over it and pretend it never happened. There's, like, this reaction, this feeling, you know? So props for that. I hate this! I hate this! I hate this! My lord, please calm down! What is this? What's going on? Let me go, Benkei! I need to cleanse myself, or else... Please don't do this! Please, no more! Let go of me! Let go of me! Can't you see? There's something wrong with me! My lord... Tomomori and the others know! They know that I'm a woman! Tomomori said that he owned me. He tried to force me to be his wife. He tried to... What? Damn it, broken. The words came pouring out from my mouth, and the tears streamed down my cheeks. Fear and frustration of that moment came rushing back to me. I spit my words and hugged my, and hugged my trembling body. And the thing is, is because she feels like she was powerless in that situation, because she kind of was, which I feel like any woman would feel like that, but also... 
she can kick motherfucking ass, but she was still powerless in that situation. You know what I mean? And I feel like it's a perfect... Like, it's just the perfect symbolism, right? Because, like... If somebody is ten times stronger than you, they're gonna overpower you. Whatever it is, right? But even if you are, like, super strong, depending on... They could... Somebody else... Any other person could still get the upper hand on you and make you feel weak when you think, I should have been able to prevent this. I should... Especially with society being like, well, what were you wearing? Excuse me? What the fuck? They're always put in your head as a woman that you should have done something to prevent this. It's somehow your fault. Not a man can't keep his penis to himself. Okay? And, like... You have this character who is like literally could kick fucking ass seriously and was powerless in this situation. And that's just very symbolic of just a woman going through the situation in general. I feel like, you know what I mean? Because there's always something in your head that's like, I could have stopped this. How could I have stopped? I should have been able to. No, there are times where you can't. There's nothing you can do, which is unfortunate, horrible commentary on society right there. But you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I feel like it's, I don't want to say it's nice that they did it, but like, it's, again, it's nice instead of being like, oh, okay, no big deal, just gloss over it, to kind of throw this in there. Like, if she feels powerless in this situation, it's not on, like, every, anybody would feel that way, and, you know, it's not, I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but like, somebody that could, literally have kicked Tomomori's ass in a fight was kind of powerless in that situation did get away but like anyone could feel powerless in that situation and it's not oh I should have done something else no there was nothing like no matter what you did something bad still happened you know what I mean so it's like it's not her fault it's not her fault I mean she did get away thank god but like you know what I mean I <sighs> I think you know what I'm trying to say. Like, I just, it's, I give props to them for, like, putting something so touchy and inappropriate in here that then they treat real. You know what I mean? Like, her thought process and her feelings about it. And it's like, yeah. Because it's exactly how you would feel. And you would feel powerless. And you would think, I did something wrong. No, you didn't. You did nothing wrong. Nobody should treat you that way, no matter fucking what. No matter what you're wearing. You know, whatever. And even if you are totally kick-ass, sometimes, and unfortunately, shit like that's going to happen because of somebody else and not your fault that you couldn't get out of that situation. You know what I mean? You shouldn't blame yourself for someone else's inability to control themselves. You know? There you go. That's the point I was trying to make, but just got kind of flustered with words, but... But like, damn it, Tomomori, why'd you have to be that person? Because like, I'm gonna be like, how dare you? But I still love him. Because it's an Atome game. If there's, honestly, like, I mean, we've said this a million times. There are certain situations like, I would not tolerate this bullshit in real life. Be like, call me an idiot and slam me against a wall. How dare you, motherfucker, in a game? Fuck yeah, put me in a cage. I don't care. You know what I mean? The shit we tolerate in an Atome game is absolutely not shit you tolerate in real life. And Tomomori, I'm a little disappointed in you for the touchy-feely, grabby inappropriateness. But also, because I love you, I'm going to make an exception, which is just, just so wrong on so many levels. Damn it! Damn it, Tomomori, what the fuck? Anyway. <sighs> I can't forgive myself. I almost let that man do what he wanted to me, and I, I couldn't do anything about it. See, right here, this. I can't forgive myself. There is nothing for you to forgive in yourself. Stop it. But that's exactly what goes through your head. You know what I mean? That's wrong. I mean, it's not wrong, but I mean, it is. It shouldn't, that should not be what goes through your head feeling like you were somehow at fault. I never felt more frustrated about who I am. And that's probably because you're like some weird soul sucking dragon demon thing, whatever. So, understandable. Look <laughs> at that. My lord. And I don't know who I am anymore. Why do I have that power? Why do I have the same power as Tomomori and Shikihira? Why? I'm not even human. No, I'm sure I'm not. I'm just a monster. Just like them. My lord. Oh, this is such a sad, beautiful CG stop. It is so beautiful and so sad. 
but like sad because it's like it's like so you're just like oh it just pulls your heart out it's like beautiful stop it oh. i love it though my body floats softly toward the heavens nk picked me up out of the cold water and held me tightly i'm sorry my lord i guess i am a useless retainer after all I couldn't protect you, and because I couldn't protect you, I put you in such a terrible situation. Truly, truly sorry. His arms wrapped around my back and hugged me tightly. It was as if they were trying to warm my frozen heart. When I felt his warmth, I couldn't stop myself from crying even more. And gay. But please, I beg you, and don't talk about yourself this way. What I did to Tomomori, I'm just like him. A monster. I kind of deserved it. That man could never tarnish you. You are strong. You have a noble, kind heart. You protect the weak. In my eyes, there's nothing purer in this world than you. <laughs> Stop it. And no matter what happens, I will never change. Okay, but I am like Tomomori and the others. I am a monster. No, my lord. You have a good, kind heart. And you're nothing like that man. You are no monster. I know you well, my lord. Please, leave me. What? My heart? Enki's words finally began to reach me. You believe in me? No matter what I am? Is that what you're trying to tell me? could he? Even I didn't completely understand what I was, and yet still believed in me? To hear him say those words made me feel as though I'd been saved. Warm. Just like at Fuji River, Enke held me like this when I went out of control. Calling my name, talking to me, pulled me back from the edge. His large body holding mine, there were no gaps between us, and he seemed to be wrapped around my heart. His warm, his heartbeat, his breath. The unpleasant sensation left within me is fading away. The feeling of Tomomori, that feeling no amount of water could wash away, was shattered by Benkei's warmth. That's so fucking cute and sweet, I could cry. I'm not gonna, but I could. My body and mind were filled with his kindness. Yet when I think about it, it's always been. Whenever I've been down, he's been there to pick me up. His trust and care for me makes me strong. Even when I didn't believe in myself, NK believed in me. When he believed in me, I felt I could do anything. My lord. You're the reason I can keep going, Benke. All thanks to you. What filled my heart is gratitude for him, and an even stronger feeling that I was too embarrassed to yet speak. Mm-hmm. That's so adorable. Look at his little shark Pikachu face. I love it. Stop. I hugged Benke back with all the strength that I could muster. I <laughs> love the shock. His large body shuddered. We stay like this for a little while. Sure. I'm so glad you're here. No doubt you're... My lord? Nothing. Never mind. Let's just stay like this for a while. Then I'll be back to normal. I promise. All right. Enki's voice wavered in confusion, and I laid my cheek against his chest. Uh, that looks more like you're kissing his forehead, but sure, whatever, game. No doubt. The one I can't live without. I had to rhyme there. I muttered these unspoken thoughts in my heart and slowly closed my eyes. Right now, all I wanted was to stay like this listening to his gentle heartbeat. It's such a beautiful end to the part! Stop it! You know. If I actually cried more often in games, that would have been weepy. But, you know, I don't. We have the, like, oh my god, my eyes watered, though! It's so cute! But, like, we've only cried... What? How many times have we cried in games now? At least twice. <laughs> Two times that I can remember. We had a third time, didn't we? What was that third time? <laughs> we 
cried in Seven Scarlet. Ugly cried. Be happy cried in Olympia Soiree. I swear we cried one other time. Was it just those two? Really? Someone will keep track. Someone is keeping a scoreboard of time space. He actually fucking lost it at a game. Um. But generally, we just get the, like, my eyes are actually watery. That, unfortunately, did not even make my eyes water. But it gets to the point in, the, in your heart where you're like, oh, I could cry. There's no tears in my eyes, and I'm totally fucking fine. But, you know, my heart feels it. That's enough. Even if my eyes don't, it's okay. Look. My head and my body are totally disconnected, okay? It's like two fucking people living here. My brain sometimes is like, okay, one thing, and then my body's something totally different. So my heart might feel... Like, the urge to cry, my brain's like, yeah, no, we're not gonna, though. So, it's like, kind of fucking weird. That's why when I do cry, it's kind of a shock. You're like, what the fuck happened? I mean, when we're playing an Atome game. Pick the right fucking day, and I can't, I cry if I can't tie my shoes properly, so. <laughs> the time I should ball my eyes out, I don't. I'm very good at keeping that shit in the closet till I'm home alone. Uh, anyway. But yes, this touching, beautiful moment. We're going to end here, and oh, it's so cute, though. Okay, like, look, I'm going to say so far, because we're almost at the end of Ben K's route, right? So, like, I highly doubt in the next, like, chapter and a half or whatever that it's going to go south and be like, wow, it went. But, like, his route's been fucking good so far. So, like, props to this game, because this game has been amazing. Noritsune's route just blew me out of the fucking water, and it, I had such high expectations after that, like, what the hell, game? I don't know if you can live up to it. And no, Ben K's route is not as good as, like, Noritsune's route, but it's almost as good. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not looking at it, like, right now, like, oh, well, it doesn't live up to Noritsune's route. If I take it apart, and I just logically, I go, no, Noritsune's route was just fucking, like, SS tier, like, holy fucking shit. No route has ever come close to that. Like, holy goddamn hell. But, like, Ben K's route is fucking good, and it's totally fucking solid. And just, on a whole, for the game, it's like, no, it's fucking great. Noritsune's route's great, this route's been great so far, like, damn, game, I'm impressed. And again, my expectations were through the roof after Noritsune's route, right? And you're like, you're gonna have to do a lot to be, to make me, like, go, not go, oh, well, I mean, it's not as good. But I'm enjoying this to the point where, like, no point aside from like right now where I'm picking it apart. We've gone through this and I'm not like, as we're playing it, reading these, oh yeah, well, I mean, it's nothing like Nord as soon as right. It's not as good as Nord. That's never popped in my head. Unless I've pulled it aside and gone, okay, well, let's look compare. Like, obviously, Nord as soon as right. It's like, I don't think anything will ever live up to that <laughs> Like, Like, holy shit. But like, this is fucking solid and this is fucking like amazing. Like, I don't know. Like, this whole game is just so good. Like, the, just the way the love evolves so naturally and beautifully, you're like, stop it, my heart, I love it. And, like, I'm sorry, Ben K, you're not my favorite love interest at all, just because you're, like, you know, just not into you like that. But, like, then this route, I'm not like, oh, yeah, I mean, it's cute, but uh, it's like, I mean, you're, like, not my type of guy, Ben K, but, like, I'm here for this, I love it. And I'm enjoying every second of it, so. I'm just saying, good job to the writers, they've done a brilliant job here. And I am really fucking glad this game has gotten localized. Every time we play it, I keep thinking this more and more. So like, fuck. Shit. We're not even halfway through this game. And I'm just like, I love it so much. I do. Anyway. I will see you guys next time. And we will get closer to our happy ending. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up. And subscribe to see more.